Well, our very own David Wiley had an early assignment heading out to the Cucamonga Challenge. Let's see what it's all about. The 11th annual Cucamonga Challenge about to get underway, a unique event here in Rancho along the Pacific Electric Trail that combines biking and running to promote fitness in our community. The Cucamonga Challenge has become a late spring tradition in Rancho. The annual event starts and finishes along the PE Trail near Central Park, and it's the result of a collaborative effort from many. The Friends of the Pacific Electric Trail puts this event on every year, and we do have a beautiful partnership with the city of Ranch Cucamonga to help make this a big success, and without the city's help, this would not be as successful as it is. The Cucamonga Challenge offers five different events, including five and 10K runs, as well as eight and 31-mile bike rides. The day's event started off with a 31-mile bike ride. That was followed a short time later by those riders ready to take on the shorter eight-mile course. The running events were up next, with hundreds of runners taking part in the 5 and 10K runs, including members of the running club, the Cucamonga Kangaroos. While the running events were time, this wasn't really a racing event, but a chance for people at all fitness levels to be active and experience the PE trail. For many, the PE Trail has become a favorite destination and part of their routine. It's just a great place to meet people, socializing, it's, it's safe, uh, it's just fun. Oh, it's safe, it's, it's beautiful, no cars. It's the same as last year. One thing is for sure, every participant in the Cucamonga Challenge had their own reason and story for taking part in the event. But no one attracted more attention than Peggy Abundes who ran the event in full firefighter gear to represent firefighters like her husband who are at an increased risk for cancer. I don't know, a lot of the public may not be aware, but the firefighters are at a much higher rate of cancer because of all the toxins they're exposed to. And they don't always get the support they need when they come down with cancer. And that's what Code 3 for a Cure is about. So I'm here to represent Code 3 for a Cure and also to support friends of the Pacific Electric Trail. It's a great cause. We're happy to be out here. And while Peggy and the other participants are what the Cucamonga Challenge is all about, organizers of the challenge say the success of the event over the years is bigger than that. I think it's really the trail itself. I mean, yes, we put this event on every, every year, but it's because it's so popular with every age group. You've got seniors who are out here walking, moms and strollers, people walk their dog, they walk after dinner, they walk, they commute. They come here for fun, they ride their bikes. It's just such a popular amenity in the city that it's easy to have an event that's, that's framed around this. And the Cucamonga Challenge has certainly been successful in publicizing the PE Trail, not only to Rancho residents, but to people throughout the region. This is a family fun event that we want to make sure that the folks from the Inland Empire are able to use the Pacific Electric Trail as a fun way to be, you know, to be active, healthy, and just enjoy themselves. And the many groups and businesses that came out to support the Cucamonga Challenge agree. The PE Trail helps support their efforts and has transformed the community's approach to fitness. Well, you know, the Pacific Electric Trail is really great because they are trying to get, keep, get everyone into the active lifestyle, which is what we're all about, you know. It is basically one of the reasons why we decided to open our store is when we moved here to Rancho and the trail opened up, we saw this great trail system and already a lot of people using it and thought, you know, it's really wonderful. So a lot of times when we have people come in to the store, we let them know about it and some of them may not have ever seen it. And so we give them information about a safe place to um, exercise. Most of the uh, folks that come through, um, you know, a lot of times they're new to cycling. They, they haven't been on a bike since they were kids. You know, they're now adults, have their own kids and they want to uh, do something with their family. So the trail being, you know, just a mile north of where we're at is actually really nice. And, and they get to uh, come out and have fun, uh, be in a safe environment. Um, and, and, you know, be part of, again, of the community. And it's that sense of community that keeps people coming back to the PE Trail and the Cucamonga Challenge. And even if you didn't make it out to this year's Cucamonga Challenge, the Pacific Electric Trail is always here to get you and your family in shape. From the Pacific Electric Trail, I'm David Wiley for Healthy RC Living.